we got the man, the myth, and the legend. Finally, Mr. Dandy, Mr. Leo Sandoval. What's up? What's up, Lee? What's up? How you doing, bro? How are you doing, sir? Um, I thought I was ready, but I'm, I think I'm kind of <laughs> nervous now that I'm in front of the camera sitting here. Because he's nervous. We're going to just take a small shot. All right. Let's do it. But we finally got you on uh, after uh, a while of seeing each other, seeing what we're both up to, right? Yes, sir. And we are here. So... You ready? Right, pour up. Right, oh, you want to pour it? I pour, pour it. Up. Pour, it up pour it up, sir. All right. He said he was ready, All but way, I don't think I he was ready. Know. If I make a face, bro, I make faces. So. <laughs> but uh, you brought a you you brought a driver. You're good. I brought, yeah, yeah, I brought a driver. You I brought, brought, a driver. brought my girlfriend. You know, she, she's, my backup. She's looking at him right now, like I'm gonna carry this guy out of here. Yeah, it's all right. All right, tell us, my boy. Cheers. Gracias Wait, before we start, here. I want to tell you something. I want to congratulate you for your new pad. We went out, you know. I mean, we were in high school together. Yes, sir. I knew you for a long time. Yes, sir. I'm very happy, bro. That you know, you're coming up in life. You're doing what I what you love right here. We you both know what are. I mean? We both are. Um, and cheers. To so that, this bro. is so to all you just said to me, and to a successful new hat drop. Yeah, coming up soon. <laughs> coming, Wait on it. Wait on it. Oh, Ooh, that cleared up all the the nervousness. I'm not a very big drinker, bro, so I don't what? like to drink. Yeah, man. I let's don't like get, to drink. Let's get right into it. Let's how did it. how did Dandy come about? Because you get in this, you have how many years with this, with this name, with this brand, with this movement? Um since twenty fifteen, bro. Twenty fifteen, <sighs> so what, six years? Six years. Six years, bro. That long. Yeah. But I mean it's kinda I I wouldn't say the six full years because i I've, I've been off for like two, two years and then I come back. So it's six years since the brand has started, but I've been in and out of the brand. Back and forth. Back and forth, yeah. People counting you out. I don't even, even yeah, people counting me out. I'm probably counting myself out as well, you know? Mm. Um, but, I mean, we're here now. We're trying to bring it back up to where it once was. And, well, yeah, bro, you're working <laughs> hard, bro. Working hard, man. So now that uh, you are on... You your latest drop, right? Yeah. What, 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 did you have a certain name for the latest drop? Um, or no, we're just we're just taking just dropping. I'm just dropping. I'm just dropping new colorways. So how how did you? And let's talk to the young entrepreneurs right now. All right, yeah. That uh, had success when they started, fell off, and came back. How did you stick with it? How did you overcome that downfall? Well, I, um, let's. I want to talk about how. I fell off first. Let's talk about how we fell, done. fell off, you know? Story time. So I started my business, right? Little little back little background. I started right. my business twenty fifteen. Uh one of my help one of my uncles helped me with three hundred and fifty bucks. Shout out to my uncle Max. <laughs> if you're watching right now. Shout out, he will, you um will. he had he had the I had talked to him about it, like, hey bro, I wanna make hats. Um yeah. I wanna be known. I want to, I don't know how to play a, I don't know how to play guitar, I don't know how to play accordion. <laughs> and that's when I was into the bicycle scene a lot, you know? Yeah. So one of his friends, you know, he was an up and coming brand as well. Yeah. And um, you know, I went to a party and I seen him and I seen like a bunch of people like, oh, he's here, you know, like da da. Even me, like I wanted to have from him, bro. So I was uh, like, I looked at him and I was like, man, like this guy, like this guy, I'm, I'm me, I'm getting there. I want to take a picture with him. I want to buy a hat. Like I want that, you know. I want that type of thing. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that type of love. That, that type, type of love. Like when I get somewhere, people, hey, look, that's Dandy. You Someone. know, like Dandy sells hats. You know, and I don't want to be like. I didn't want to be known for doing other dumb shit, like yeah. oh, like just other dumb stuff, you know, like oh, he's probably sells drugs, blah blah. blah. Nah, well, like a good positive <laughs> message to people, like oh, dude, he's actually like, yeah, I'm known for something good, right? For, for business sure. that I'm building. So my uncle lent me 350 bucks, and we started, bro. So we went off strong. Um, I would uh, I made two hats, right? A Jalisco and a Mexico hat, and um, I started giving them to my friends, like kind of like. Here's two hats, post them like you bought them, but then like give them back to me, you know, <laughs> just to kind of just build my build a name, so build people a... can think that they were buying my stuff. Like, oh yeah. damn, this was like I'ma buy it. It goes because <laughs> what I've seen is like, if you buy it, bro, if you, people see will. everybody is wants to buy it right. too. You know, it's it's crazy like that. You yeah. know, um, that's social media for you. It's social media, bro. So so then little by little, bro, people started buying it here and there. I finally got my, I got like I started off with. 12 hats i had like six designs so i had jalisco culiacan tj 
the Mexico one, and yeah, it's probably what five, four, or whatever it was. I lost count. Um, so yeah, dude. So I started off with that, and then when it when it kind of when I seen that it kind of blew up was when a store in Southgate hit me up. Mm. Hit me up like a, like norm like like I wasn't even selling of, a lot, bro. Out of the blue, just out of the blue, boom. hit me up like, hey, um, we want some hats. You know, we want twelve of each that you have, and I'm like. Oh, wow? shit. Like really? He's like, yeah. yeah, we'll cash you out right here. Give us a, a wholesale price and, and we'll bam, cash you out. And make it happen. And I'm like, man, for real. Like, I, for I was real? stunned, bro. Like, I was like, me? Like, what? Like, yeah. my hat's like, I'm just up and coming. Like, oh yeah, we want them, bro. Like, we'll cash you out. And I'm like, oh hell yeah. So right away, um, I got some money. I did and the hats and I took it to him and he cashed me out right there. And from yeah. there is when I when I when I kind of popped off because once he bought hats, other stores started buying hats off of me. Yeah, I, I, start, re- I remember seeing that, that you were just delivering and you were post like, this store has, Danny has, go get them, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, so just, I can I think that store, um, it's called Denim Exchange. I mean, they don't sell my hats anymore, but at the time, they I think they're the ones that really helped me to like kind of like yeah. go. Like, all, all it takes is that one, one, that one person, that one brand, that one, that one thing that just sets it off, right? Yep. And, and, there's no limit limitations to what could happen. Like how you're just saying right now, that one story got him. Yep. Other stores popped off. Yeah, other stores. So how'd you? I wanted to ask. Yeah, I'm very yeah. curious. Why did you get into the designs of Mexico? Mm, because at the time I was into the paisa scene, bro. Into at the, at the time I was into the paisa scene. So I like 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 I said, yeah. uh, I wanted to be known for something like go somewhere and people be like oh yeah. that's dandy like hey that's dandy. that's crazy or that's leo per se because i didn't at the time i didn't ha- i didn't know when no what, one no one really knew you as yeah no one yeah. really knew my dandy or i didn't have the name yet you yeah. know uh, people started calling me dandy after i did the hat drop right yeah so um so yeah bro so bef- but oh, what was the kitchen my bad so the other stores popped they started yeah. ordering too just because of that store yeah and and that was like the blow up that was kind of the blow up bro and it just kind of went from like like just i would it just it blew up, bro. Like it blew up other stores from um oh también after that there's some store in Culiacán called Big Boss, bro. Those guys would cash me out like good money, bro. Like like hundred fifty hats, like two hundred hats, and just I would oh, yeah. get there, bro. And uh, some guy, some we would meet up in the alley, I think, and he would send them out with a bunch of other things that they sell over in Culiacán and five racks, boom, you know, like just like right there, Jesus. bro. I'm, for me, I'm just like. And all I would do, bro, is just go to LA, buy the blank hats, yeah. take them to Covina where I get them made. Yeah. I wait a we week. T- I remember we went, went on a trip. Yeah. yeah I remember? remember? We went on a trip. So, so we, I just take them to Covina, wait a week, and take them. So it was just like, it was like. You saw the, you saw the potential of what this, this industry or what you were doing had. Yeah. And it just like, it blew. It kind of, it kind of blew up, bro. I so mean, the I, downfall, mm. what happened? The first time. The first time, I believe, I think I got too ahead of myself, bro. Mm. Yeah, I started to think, like, not that I got big-headed. I, got, I think I got big-headed on my own saying, like, I can give away hats. I can I can be the type of guy I go out, oh, oh, Grupo? Oh, here we go, bro. He's two hats for each of you guys. Boom. All right. You know, I I would, to, yeah. like, I don't know, probably to look cool, bro. Like, hey, you know, my, my thing. I mean, it was doing good at the time, but yeah. I was just kind of just like blowing through all the hats bro you yeah. know what i mean so i at the end i didn't have like no hats and no money you know no money of the hats or anything you know and i still owed the guy that was making the hats like i was just like so i kind of just i just went down bro i just kind of just went like oh fuck. like this is this is the end right here this is not this is the end but like i'm just gonna stop you know yeah and i gotta recollect I gotta recollect, and I just kind of just fell, fell, fell away from it, bro. And then I was partying a lot. I was going to the club, like that wasn't my main focus. Like w- when I was out there, like actually doing it, bro. Like putting in the work. You know what I mean? Like hitting up grupos. Hey, can I go take you this hat? Yeah. But when I say when I was giving out like hats to grupos, it's like you gotta know who you give your stuff out to, right? For sure. You don't just you give out your to. stuff to anybody. Yeah. You know, you gotta. It's a business. It's a business. Yeah. So you got to know who to give it out to. So you're not going to, you know, like if you go out, you just want to look cool. You give them out. Cause, oh, like, oh, he gave me, you know. But like when, like per se, I went to go see El Fantasma when he wasn't that big yet. I drove all the way here to from my house 
to you Fontana. Put that over here, yeah. I drove, you know, and like, I think it was at night. I hit him up. Hey, compa, I have some hats. Like, you know what I mean? Let me go give them to you. Like, you're up and comer. Like, yeah. Oh, Kyle, come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I met him up, bro. He did me a little shout out. So I was on it, bro. I did Lenny Ramirez, too. I was on it, too. Lenny, I got a shout out from Lenny Ramirez. And just different other people that I was grinding, bro. You were doing dirty work. I was, I was, you have to put in the work, bro. So that's why I was growing significantly at the time. Yeah. So then, like I said, I don't, I think it got to my head. I was like, I'm good. So I would just start partying. I met a lot of people, bro. Yeah. I met a lot of people that would party and stuff like that. For sure. And go to the club. Yeah. Hey, let's go, Leo. Like, let's go, Dandy. Like, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'd be partying, you know, like, and I, and then at the, like I said, it just kind of just, like, it was, it down. was growing to a rate that, you weren't growing at the yeah, same time. Exactly. And it, I think sad it's normal it's normal when you know about business, right? When yeah. you think about business because your dad's a businessman. Yeah. My dad's a businessman. Yeah. And we learning from them know that when you take too much and you give too much and you're not making, you know, ends meet, yeah. then something is really wrong. Yeah. Because if they didn't figure that out, then we for sure know they both wouldn't be where they'd be at. Yeah. Right? And uh you growing at that rate is trial and tribulation. You know, we we learned it the hard way. I learned it, my because I took out, you know, a couple months ago, the grind boss. All right, let's sell dog toys, all the dash cans. The dash, the dash cans, believe it or not, just <laughs> a couple of grand, bro. Okay. And it, it as BS as people want to see it, oh, who wants dash cams? Well, I believe you're not. 50, 70 bucks a piece. Yeah. And we're selling fucking 10, 20 a week. We're making it. Yeah, because even, even when you posted it, bro, I was like, you know, Dusko selling dog cars. I mean, I, I saw I saw you wanted to do something else, bro. You yeah, know, I it, want, it was that calling, bro. It was in that something in me that said, I need to, how how you, I need to, I want to be known. Because yeah. that was crazy enough. I was already known just like in the gym. Oh, bro, I see you're grinding. I see you in the gym three, four hours. Da, da, da. I was like, yeah, because the people I'm around, we're grinding and that's what we want. And it grew from there, like, dude, we I need to do something different. I need to do something where when I go somewhere, hey, bro, do you do this? Bro, I appreciate you because you helped me or you inspired me or yeah. you, you motivated me. And it was like, I need to figure it out. And, yeah, it just took it, – it, it took different ventures to really just find this. Okay. And now we're – this is episode 25. We're in episode 25 with you here, and it's yeah. just like – we're both, and I'm obviously I'm still we're still coming up. This channel's still coming up, but yeah, yeah. you're already at a level where it's just like people know who you are, know the brand, and really want to just want a part of you. They want a hat. They yeah. want they want to just be able to be like, bro, I, I took a picture with that. And, and I want to shout out all the people, you know, because I feel like a lot of people, like once they fall off, and then it's like it's hard to get it's up. hard to get up, you know. But I feel like for me, every time I try to get up, bro. People are always just messing with me, bro. Like, I, I may be gone for a year. Hey, yeah. I'm going to take out a hat. Yeah. People are still under. Oh, yeah, I'm going to buy one. I'll get one. Bro, when yeah. are you going to take guys? So um, this last time that I came back, I took out a... So for every every time, for I feel like for every year that I was out, for, always for Black Friday, I always post up hats, bro. Because that's that's the day I sell the most, bro. Yeah. Cause what is it? Everybody wants the deals, Everybody bro. Everybody wants the deals, you know? Everybody, even if it has $2 off, bro. Said and done, I got them. So I would sell. So per se, I would sell the hats for thirty bucks, and that day I was selling for twenty bucks, bro. I would every every Black Friday, bro. I make a killing, bro. Like it's <laughs> just, and it was it was just crazy to me thinking that now, bro. Like, yeah. like I'm just grateful, I guess, for like all the people you know that 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 are still with me because after all, like I said, like a lot of people when they they when they stop something, it's very hard to grow it back up again to where it once was, Continue. you know. So. Like right now, it's like um, I started up again, bro, and and again, all the people they still they still like my stuff, so it wasn't as hard to like climb up again all the way up. Like I was probably like yeah. halfway. So when I start when I started again, I was halfway. I don't have to go through the full ladder. Like yeah. so right now, I'm like just, they they already knew who you were and your product. Yes. And they wanted and they wanted to see. We wanted to see what this was, what this drop was, what this what this included. Yeah. Because, bro. As it's crazy to have your own brand on you, right? Yeah. And to really have the D on your head, dandy. Like, bro, in my head, I'm like, that's dandy. So yeah. when anybody wears it, no matter what they say, yeah. 
that is when he sees it, he's like, bro, that's me on my on that. Yeah, head. that's that's the, that's. The, I feel like that's a crazy thing, bro. Like look, like just seeing random people, bro, wearing your stuff that you don't even know. Yeah. Like it's just it's the most like coolest feeling in the world, and it's just like it's. I feel like I get very humbled, bro. You know, I just like, like damn, like you're wearing my stuff. Like I remember one time uh, I went to Arizona to a Mexico game, and there was a like two random dudes walking around. And they're wearing my hats, bro. And, I'm, and I call them like, hey, bro, like, let me take a picture with you. You know, like, you guys are wearing my hats, dog. Like, this is cool. Like, let me take a picture yeah. with you guys. You know, and at the time, at the, at the, at the tailgate, we had, we had a group of, like, come down. Like, like, come kick it. With, like, dude, I'm just so grateful, bro. Like, I'm grateful. Like, whoever buys my hats, everybody. Whoever shows you love. Whoever shows me love. If you give me a like on my Instagram, if you comment, bro, if, like, you don't necessarily have to buy anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like, a lot of people won't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, I'm on here. I don't give a shit. We're guilty. I I haven't. But a lot of people and how we're saying it now, even on IG, yeah. they will go through your stuff just to see what you're up to and not even give you that love that, that you've not deserved. You earned. Yeah. Because we can do the most and people still won't feel like it's enough in their books. Yeah. And it's like, eh, well, if you don't believe in that, then that's on you. you you're in your own lane. I'm in my own. I'm figuring my shit out. And I think that's why you have to kind of ignore ignore um, people, bro. Did like, you, Did you deal with a lot of noise? Have you dealt with a lot of noise in that sense? Um, be, yeah. Be well, honest. Be yeah, honest. I mean, when I really started, yeah, people, I mean, people always have something to say, bro. That's the thing. People always have something to say. And you have to be mentally strong enough to, like, like if you if you believe, if you believe that it's going to pop off, if yeah. you believe in what you're doing, Damn. bro, it's... It's it's gonna Definitely happen, gonna dog. Do it. It's, it, it is. It's gonna happen. You know what I mean? So did you feel like that a hundred percent since you started? Yeah, bro. Since I started, I already. I, I I have in my. I have me personally. I have something in me since I was small, bro. That I'm special. I mean, everybody can probably say that's something cliche to say, bro. <laughs> but I feel like I'm some a special person, bro. Like I'm not. You need to feel that way, right? I'm I'm not. I'm to. I'm not. Um, I'm not like. I feel like I'm not like everybody else, bro. Like I, I like I'm. I don't do stuff to look cool, bro. Yeah. Um. Maybe maybe. I have I have fallen into it, you know, as I grew up, like you know, in in the paisa scene, you know, maybe I acted so, like someone I wasn't, but I've always been kind of like, hundred percent true to myself, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm not perfect, you know. I'm maybe some, maybe yeah. sometimes I slipped up or something, but I feel like like but much of my life. Everybody does. At the end of the like, day, everybody does. Like people try to. So when you're in that uh, in that platform where you have more than a hundred people seeing you. Everybody has that that eagle eye that they'll see, they'll they won't see the come up, but they'll see when you fall yeah. and they'll see when you slip and they'll call you out right away or they'll talk about you blah blah blah. But it's how you said it's it's not a no cocky level, it's not a no big head level. It's just I know I'm special. Yeah. To be special, like you got to do extraordinary things. Yeah. And that's exactly what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. That's what you're doing. What well, people don't believe that. And and it's crazy, bro, because um I was telling my girlfriend, um. I always thought she was going to get handed to me, bro. Like, when I started, too, like, the all the dandy hats, I, I honestly thought, like, it was going to be easy. Like, uh. like it's, it was going to get handed to me. Like I, like, I remember driving every day to work, like, before, like, I want to say, like, like th- three, four years ago. Like, it's going to come to me. It's going to come to me. Like, but it's not like that, bro. You uh. have to work. You have to work for it. Like, I'm barely realizing now, like, bro, everybody puts in the work. You know what I mean? Uh. Maybe, like, people, like, right now, you, right, per, per se. Right now, you know, you have... At the subscribers you have, the views you have, but what about in a year? I don't. Know. I'm at year, two years when you have 250 people watching your stuff. Like people are just gonna be like, "Damn, like dudes go like, damn, that's so cool, bro! Like you did it." But they ain't gonna remember the they ain't gonna remember the 25th episode. Yeah. When it's like, 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 bro, I put in the you have to put like what oh, I know definitely. you have to put in the they, work, bro. You it, have to put in the work. It was just like I've been saying the last three weeks. And when I, my boy Bruno asked me uh, a couple of days ago, he was like, what are you going to do for the 100th episode? I was like, man, something big, because yeah. obviously that's 100. Yeah. You know? But how do I know how that feels until I get there? That means I got to go through 75 other episodes to get to that position. Yeah. Which, when you have the views that we have and we're growing, and I appreciate every single one of one of them that's been following us, viewing us, sharing us. I'm one of the you know, people. I watch all your videos, bro. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so when you, a lot of people would get shut down. Like maybe same thing with you. When you had only a few people buying it, be like, fuck, what am I really doing? This is not popping off. But it, but now that I'm more 
mentally mature, more older, I understand that there's a process. Yeah. How you said, I got to put in the work. How many no's have I got in more no's than yeses? Okay. Bullshit, you know, I got more no's than yeses. To me, that's cool, man. Yeah. At one point, no matter what, you're still going to listen to this and just know you had the opportunity to be on here. And, and if when you're ready, come back. Yeah. Come on. Because I want to know your story. People want to know your story. Your own family, friends, like your family and friends are going to tune in. Your yeah, followers yeah. are going to tune in. Like, who yeah. is Danny? Why does Danny start? Why did Danny continue? And the thing is, nobody really knows where I started from or anything. So, no. like, this is going to be very good for people that, like, actually want to, like, damn, so how did this, like, who is this fool? Like, who is Dandy? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, who is this guy? Yeah. You know be, what I mean? Because... I'm, bro, I'm honestly just glad like we're actually here and we're having this conversation because I think it's just long overdue. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that I'm very curious to know. There's a lot of stuff that if I'm curious to know, maybe thousands of others. And I'm very curious. I mean, I'm a, I mean, if it's okay, I'm going to ask you some questions Ooh, as well. Go ahead. Go ahead. We, ain't, right. we ain't worried about that because uh, we're I, we're very open. Yeah. I'm very open. And yeah. especially in, this, in the podcast and, and everything, as long as I'm saying it, there is nothing else that nobody else can say. No, no, like everybody has opinions, no matter what. Yeah, and it's like go ahead. At least you know what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, you would say Danny's a piece of. Well, how do you know who Danny is? You just know. You know what we're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, but you went and for people that have watched you since day one, you yeah. went through a a line of Dandy, right? Yeah. Like yeah. you went the hats. You went podcast you went like you were yeah i was i, I was just you were trying I, different ventures I was try, yeah i was trying to do different things bro and i feel like when i started like i don't think while well, looking at it maybe it was a podcast at the time but it was like it was more like interviewing people right mm. um so i feel like um dandy hats opened up a little door for me to do interviews because yeah. through dandy hats i met a lot of um i met a lot of different grupos different people that that i was like man that would be kind of a good idea if i were to you know, it would be easier yeah. for me to ask people like, hey, like, let's do an interview. You know, help me out. Do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Compa, let's do it. Like everyone, everyone it was excited, bro, to do it. So, yeah. but I feel like I was, ju- at the time too, I was juggling too much at one time, bro. Like I wasn't, I wasn't per se, like per se at the time with Dandy Hats, I wasn't hundred percent with it. And then I was trying to do the Dandy TV and I wasn't going hundred with it. So like, I feel like now what I'm trying to do now, like I also want to do a podcast, but I, want, I feel like I should first, you know, focus on something. Like for say the hats, yeah, and do it well. You know, once once it's ready to to kind of move on to move on to have that venture. You know, to have the venture, then I can kind of move on to something it's, and put my it's put my how that saying into. is. If you don't give a hundred percent into what you're doing, then you won't get that hundred percent result. Yeah. So it's, if you're one foot in and one foot out, then yeah. more than likely eh, it won't work out. And but that's what I say. Like business wise, five years in, if you made it five years, you're straight. Yeah, I mean, I hope. In, in a sense, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a sense, like you, st- how you said, you still got to put in the work. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm still relatable, you know. Um, You're trending, my boy. You uh, trending. Yeah. So, like, when <laughs> now what you said about a hundred, hundred followers, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, the hundred episodes you said, right? Right. I just, I just hit 10k on, on my Instagram. I mean, it's like I was telling, I was telling my girlfriend, you know, like, um, but you put in the work because I seen people, yeah. and I seen you reposting people that to get you there, to get you there. A lot of people don't want to do that. No, a lot. Of they don't, don't want to post. They don't. A lot of people repost. don't. A lot of people don't want you want to follow you, bro. Like not pe- at all. People don't. I'm, I'm sure your your dashboard. For a lot of people that don't understand the analytics, we can see how many people come into the page. Yeah, we can see. And it. I'm sure that's a lot more than <laughs> what we get followed. Yeah. But no, no, yours yeah. is way more than mine. I know it already, but I'm sure your numbers are pretty high up there that compared to the following and yeah ratings. yeah of course like per se i have 10k but right now i have 10k i only get like 200 likes 150 likes yeah. so like i was telling my girlfriend um i was like Fuck, what am i gonna do for 10k like you know i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go i'm gonna go to the mountains um pop a champagne bottle and do donuts in the car like <laughs> you know what i mean but then like i sat down and I, I seen this video of drake bro when he was really well i think he had done his first album you know yeah he was really going to take it out, and he was by himself. And um, he opens up a champagne bottle by himself and, like, kind of just with the phone and just, like, I'm going to celebrate with y'all. You know what I mean? So I feel like I was like, man, I'm about to, again, do the same thing I did, get too ahead of myself, bro. Like, I'm going to celebrate 10K. Yeah. Like, no, it's, I'm going to do this as a milestone, you know? So yeah, I'm going to do, yeah. 
like once I hit 100k, then I'm, you know, because I hit something like, so I just, I, I kind of just want to like, just step by step, step by step, bro. So like, you know, so that it, for anybody, bro, anybody and me that I'm going through it, mm-hmm. just getting, even trying to get to a thousand followers, it, it's work. Yeah. And it's like people, when you, when you have two followers, people don't believe you. You have a couple hundreds, people still don't believe you. Even they got to see a certain amount of numbers, be like, oh, okay, they're, they're relatable. Yeah. But it's like, well, look at the grind. Look yeah. at where we came from, what we have done, what we've done to this day, and what we're still capable of. You won't do it, mm-hmm. but I'm doing it. And a lot of people are scared, bro, to do this. Like, a lot of people care about what people yes. think, bro. And, like, I mean, I, guess, like, I see you. Like, I, you, didn't, you, you didn't care. You did it. You didn't. didn't. You know I what I mean? It. So, I mean, I admire you for that because a lot of people don't you. have the, the... So, imagine imagine that if if you would have listened to the outsiders and say that food dandy isn't going nowhere, that hat game isn't going nowhere, to... Well, ever since I was, like, you said high school, like, right now off the camera, you were like, oh, he would wear polka dot shoes. Like, <laughs> like honestly, like... People that play football, <laughs> my boy, <laughs> we know this. We know this. So, like, it was... um. I've always, honestly, I'd never, like, I've always, like I said, I've always been kind of true to myself, bro. So, I was like, I, I, I honestly don't care. Like, yeah. I just, I just focused on what I thought was good and the little support that I got, like, from, you know, local friends. I know, I'm pretty sure a bunch of people talk crap, like, what the hell, yeah. he's not going to do nothing. But, I mean, hey, I mean. Bam. We're, we're, I mean, I'm not going to say, like, fuck, I'm here, like, nah, but, like, I mean, we're trying to get back up there, you know, once, yeah. w- once we were. At one time. Damn. That's part one because, god damn, bro. We still got a lot to talk about, man. Perfect. We back. We're back. Back in action. Back in action. Back in bed. Why the new design? Dandy. Why the new design? Um, (laughs) Honestly, honestly, bro, it's just um, just the way how I dress now. You know, I, I, before I would dress um, like a Paisa, right? Paisa. You know, <laughs> wear loafers with your pants and, yeah. and stuff like that. Your Ugo Boss. But now I feel like it's more normalized now to wear, like, to be a little bit more swagged out, right? Like, yeah. wear Jordans, you know, wear, wear, like, just trendy stuff that's right now that's very trendy. Do people know that your name used to be Swagged Out Leo? No, they don't. It's, that's a... Don't say, no, oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, so that used to be Swagged Out Leo. <laughs> swagged Out Leo. People used to know him like that, but... No, I, I that's that's dope. So that's why you yeah, that's, decided. I, I I honestly the other hats I took out, oh a Jalisco hat I took out a blue one with the J. Mm-hmm. Um, it wasn't my style, bro. Like it wasn't. Uh, yeah. It wasn't my style how I dressed, so I wouldn't even wear it. I like honestly I wouldn't even wear my hats. Mm. I wouldn't. So this 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 drops before these new drops, which was a a blue Jalisco hat with the J. Just had a J. Like it wasn't my style, so I just sold it. I sold the ones I had, and I just that's it. I, that's it because I wouldn't even wear them. So, like so now, do you think that the hats that you you took out, yeah, you can rock them? Yeah, every day? hell yeah, hell yeah. So that's why I feel like that's why estoy echando más ganas. I, people are Spanish too, right? Yeah, yeah. My, my grandma said, "Dime cuando vas a tener uno en español y me vas a decir." Uh, okay, well, I mean, we can we can go. Oh, we're in over there in Atotonilco with their town, yeah. and then we're trying to get a, a tequila tour. Okay. And I was like, mire, tengo un, tengo un YouTube, tengo un podcast, y quiero hacer eso. Ah, pues a ver, escríbelo. Ahorita voy a suscribir. <laughs> Said and done, bro. I was like, he probably not going to hear him because yeah, I'm, yeah, right. but I don't know this. But I was like, damn, so now I got a Mexican follower. Yeah. Now I got someone from this side that follows. And... <laughs> Oh yeah, one of her family members from over there too subscribed. Okay. But it, so it's like how you're saying it's like we get to the we're getting to the point where it's like damn, people are showing some love. Yeah. Or I'm talking to whoever I'm talking to is like, hey bro, I listen to your podcast. And I'm like, damn, appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's love. Hey. And again, one subscriber, two hundred thousand subscribers, they still matter to me. Hi, because yeah. I ain't, I ain't no better than the next person. So even when they send DMs or give me the recommendations, which all the time, send your recommendations. I, I love to hear what you guys want to talk about. It's like, oh, okay, we'll bring it up. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to have that conversation with whoever's coming on because 
people still have something to say, and we're just giving that that platform for them to really say it. Yeah, yeah. And we did. I'm normalizing that. Have the platform to speak your story. Yeah. Tell your story. We don't. We don't have too many platforms like that. People just want to portray and and show. And maybe you went through this. People just want to show the the glamour, the possessions, the the luxuries. Yeah. But people don't want to show the grind. They don't want to speak of how they feel, or what they did, or how they felt when they did it. Yeah. They just want to. Hey, I made a hundred thousand, or I I spent three hundred dollars on a bottle. Yeah. That's how I am. It's like, eh, how do you really feel, my boy? You know, like I've been through it. Yeah. And I'm sure you've been through it, and it's just like. Where we're going and what we're doing is people are very social media influenced. Yeah. They want to see the lifestyle in social media. But it's like, I want you to know the background. Yeah, because it's kind of crazy too. When I post up like a like a like a crazy picture, like with the with the car, with the money, or or whatever, when someone sends me a, a picture that looks like damn, looks chaka, bro, I guess like four, five hundred, six hundred likes. If I just post up a picture just the just, just the you, hat yeah. <laughs> 100 like you know people are like you said but it's like that trend yeah. like, and it it's in the same in the same sense where you post a picture about you yeah. and it's 100 likes you post a picture about you and your lady 500 likes mm -hmm. 1000 mm -hmm. likes and it's like whoa whoa it's true let me post one on me again and let's see how we do yeah yeah 5 likes I was like oh shit never mind yeah but i feel like people a lot of people are 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 like they're kind of like well, just just people that want to see you do weird stuff, bro. Like you know the 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 environment I'm in, right? Which is like the the paisa. Yeah. Um, they want to see like you know they like seeing the cars, they like seeing the money, they like the seeing glamour, the, the glamour, bro. Like that's all. Like it's like it's like I I right now I'm thinking like it's like I watch the Latin right the monkey when he sees the <laughs> with the, the the red ruby como se le pean los ojos like yeah like that's what that's what they want to see, bro. But I mean, like I said, like. Um, you know, like you said, um, spending 300, like, but, and, and I know a lot of people, you know, that are not happy, bro. Like they like, go out and spend as much money as they can, but they're not happy. They're just, and the next day, bro, no one, no one like hits them up. Like, Hey bro, like, thank you for this or thank you for that. Yeah. Or, or they just feel like the glam that night, bro. And it's just, they want to take, they want to take, yeah. take, take because how, how we're just talking about earlier in the week and, and last week about the hats. I was like, hey, bro, let, yeah. let, me, let me just buy it. Yeah, yeah. It could have easily just been. And it happens with a lot of other people where you have a product and, bro, let me just hook me up. Hook yeah. me up. Hook me up. And it's like, do you have you seen how much time I put into this? How much effort? How much emotion? How much everything I put into this? Yeah. So every time I give my product, this is a part of me. Mm -hmm. It's worth something. If it wasn't, if I knew it wasn't worth nothing, nah, well, fuck. Here's a, here's a couple pieces of, of coins. Here you yeah. go. If they mean nothing, but it's like, nope, this quarter means everything to me, and it's what you live by your brand. Yeah, bro, and I, I feel like también, también quería quedar back then quería, también quería quedar bien con mucha gente, because a lot of people would kind of just, I feel like a lot of people would talk shit saying like, like regálame una, no, I can't, be, like, f you then, you know, like, because you're not gonna give me a hand, like I'd be like. Bro, it's, it's you know, I, I'm I'm losing money if I give you a hat, right? Because yeah. I invested in some type of money. Yeah. So now, like, yeah, everybody everybody wants a freebie, bro. Even till today, everybody wants the hook me up. They want it for free. Hook me up or, or you know, give it to me for this price. And I'm just like, oh. And I'm like, now, before, yeah, yeah, it's cool. Pa' quedar bien, bro. Pa que, nomás pa' quedar bien. Me dolía, pero pa' quedar bien, I'll be like, all right. But now, bro, nah, like, hey, it is what it is, bro. If, if, if. You want to hook up? I really, I can't hook you up. But I have them for thirty bucks. E, yeah. e, and I feel like, and if you like it or not, I mean, that's up to you, bro. If you don't want to, if you tell me, oh, well, I can buy a new era one for thirty bucks too, I'm like, well, I mean, just go, go ahead, ahead and buy the, <laughs> go ahead buy the new era one. Go ahead, but it won't have my my touch, my brand, my 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 estilo. Yeah. Lo que mucha gente no entiende es que this is this is me. Mm -hmm. This is my product. Yeah. Go find somebody else just like me. You won't. You won't. And, and again, ten toes down, never forget it. But you just won't find somebody else like me, like you, mm. to do what we do day in and day out. Because what you do here, which maybe some people think is just dandy, mm. but you have another job. Yeah, I have. I have. I have another job, bro. I have. Um, I work. Uh, my my father owns a restaurant, and I work there six days a week too. Shout out Victoria's. Shout restaurant. out Victoria's Tacos. Right you guys there. wanna pull up? Pull Glenda. up, you might get a free taco, but you uh, still gotta pay it. And the cool <laughs> thing is um, that Verduzco, his dad's company, services my the <laughs> restaurant. So 
<laughs> yeah, that's, we do. That's pretty cool. So if you need to kill bugs, let me know. We got you. No hookups, no free money. Yeah, so my restaurant does not have any cockroaches, no nothing. <laughs> so you guys are good. <laughs> we are all good. Uh, Dusko can, um, you know. Uh, we, hold, we vouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can, you there, can vouch there's us. very uh, few, few places that I myself eat. And I don't eat. Even after we clean them up, I still don't. Oh, quieres algo comer? Nah, I'm all right. I'm all right. But yours, yeah. I'm like, huh, we need, when they were around, bro, we got to yeah, eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is shit. I remember yeah, the tortas? Bro, back then, we were at Raging Waters, and we went all the way that way just to go eat. Yeah, I, remember, I remember you loved the tortas, bro. Always, I do school still tortas, do. tortas. Okay, okay. Oh, still do. Dad bought all day long. We still do. So, uh, but. But, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's hard, bro. It's hard. Um, I work, you know, I've been working since I was, I want to say, like, 10. Uh you know, helping my dad out. So, I mean, I I've been it. I I I put in the work too, bro. Like, even though I was small, but I was I was even, there with my pops. That's cool, and it's crazy to to figure or to learn from somebody else because me myself, I used to go with my Nino over there in Santa Maria. We used to go Saturday mornings to go cut like eight to ten yards, mm-hmm. and we get, he'll give us a couple couple dollars, like twenty forty bucks. Back then, at 15, 16, God damn, that's money. Yep. And I never forget it. Same thing when we graduated high school and I would win a hundred bucks for the next two weeks. I was like, that's money. Yeah. To now it's like, all right, I got money and I just got to treat her better because be- I wasn't responsible two, three years ago. I was still just doing, 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 letting it go, letting it be, letting it, and to where there was no, there was no rainy day fun. Yeah. To now or where we're at now, where I'm at now with, with my family, with everything is like I need to be good for not just today, but longevity. Yeah. Longevity. People yeah. don't understand longevity, bro. I mean, I was just I feel like I was just like you brought them in blowing money, like just going to the club buying expensive stuff that I really didn't. Well, we can need. buy that same bottle for twenty bucks, forty bucks, yeah, sixty it's bucks. True, it's yeah. true. I mean, like I said, it's it's not bad once in a while, bro, to go yeah, out, you know. Treat yourself. Yeah, treat yourself. So but, like, treating yourself every week, like, you know, like, nah, that's not good. You know, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure you get paid well, and um, I get paid well as well. I get yeah. paid well as well. <laughs> um, so, I mean, you know, like, um, that partying thing, dude, it got me really, really deep into it, bro. Going out, partying with my friends, you is, know. You think it's just, like, the, how you said, the industry that you are in? Yeah, it was probably, right? yeah, it was more of that. And I was new, I, when I was very, very new to it when I started doing the hats. So I kind of went in like head first, bro. Like, just started like, wow. You dove like, in. Damn, I dove in and right away, like, was like, damn, this is so cool. Like, oh my God, like, I want to just go to the club. Like, yeah, let's go to the club. Like, yeah. it just, it was crazy. And it, and I feel like, también, going, going out, bro, like, it's, it's good. Um, it's good to go out too, you know, so people can, so you can expose your brand publicity publicity yeah so like i'm i would tell my girlfriend you know like maybe one day maybe next week you know you know no um i'm going to have to go to the club you know with my friends just to go you know um network with people or just to yeah. just to expose my brand bro just to expose it because honestly i'm going to tell you a quick little story um i would go to parties right and um there would be times like hey bro you're Danny i'm like yeah he's like do you have hats and i would always carry hats with me bro all the time when i had my black mustang I always had hats on me, bro. Yeah, that shit was so, doom, doom. you know. So, <laughs> so then, so then I would say, yeah, can I buy some? Yeah, for sure, bro. Let's go. So I would be in the back. I mean, I would be in the front in my car. Oh, ¿cuál quieres? And then, and I'm, hey, what? ¿Qué estás diciendo? Oh, pues gorras. And at like the next thing you know, bro, I had a line of people buying hats, like straight up outside the party buying hats. But I remember like I, I, there was a party in um, Azusa with my compa Miguel Nieto, and all those fools went in the front and they started buying hats. But I saw like. And that little that little, little time frame, I saw like six hundred bucks. Like, I, like I didn't even know. I just went to a party. Yeah. But like, I mean, people like people like seeing you out there, bro. People like, oh, like, hey, like that's he, him. He's really doing. Like, what? hey, that's that's him. Like, oh, it's yeah. cool, bro. Like, you know, like I I feel like it's it's good to be out and exposing yourself to putting yourself out there as well, yeah. you know. So, but I mean, it's more responsible now, right? I'm not gonna go yeah. out and you know like party. Oh, nah, I can't. Like, I'm I'm, I'm kind of. I'm already kind of too old for that. Like I, I got out, I got out of the the circle, bro. Because there's a lot of people that, and that paisa, they stay in the circle, bro, and they don't how, get out. How old are you, Danny? Twenty-seven years young. Twenty-seven. Yeah, just don't. He's young. He's young. <laughs> I thought I said no age drop. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you with the with yeah. the left with the left field. Yeah. Friends. Yeah. How has that happened, or how has that been since day one to now? 
man, bro. Honestly, it's it's weird, bro. Because when they say that when you're when you're, it gets quiet. When you're putting in the work, it gets quiet. Like it gets really quiet. Yeah. I don't know if you know. I, I I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember what it what it what that thing was. But it's like when you're doing good or when you're working at something, it gets quiet. Like everyone everyone kind of leaves your side, bro. Yeah. Because you're working. You're trying to do something, and it kind of it's like that for me right now. Like, like I don't have time to do much. Yeah. I don't. Like I I work. Cause you're putting you're putting the work. putting the work, bro. So it, it 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 got lonely, but I try to um. The weekends with my girl, she always helps me out. She's always cool with like, hey, let's go to the house. We have to package the pads or we have to come here or or. Is this true? Is that true? Yeah. So she's a she's Damn. she's a trooper, bro. She's a trooper, man. That's she's a cool, trooper. Man. And um, like I said, um, it's um, it's the friends right now. It's it's you know I've been trying to hang out with more positive people too. You have to, bro. Right. So it's like nah, a lot of people are like a lot of my old friends. You know, I I mean they're still my friends, right? But I just don't keep it like a, a close relationship anymore. They just they just have like a different mindset, bro. Like bro, there's there's some other stuff that it's 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 doesn't well correlate with me where I'm trying yeah. to go, right? So, um, yeah, it's basically. It, I think it's because uh, one one you're a business dude, you're a business man, you're a business mm-hmm. owner, because no matter how you look at it, this is still business. Yeah. And two, it's I think it's more about. What people really want from you, mm-hmm. like if, if we're really if we're really friends, and what I look for my friends is, I want you as a person and be real with me. Yeah. I don't want your product. Yeah. I don't care how much you make. I don't care what you do. I don't exactly. It's just you're good for my life. We're positive for my life. Positive energy. Because if you're not in that realm, yeah, and you just want to be negative and you just want to take take take. Oh, bro, I don't have it. You know, spot me. This is this. Yeah. At one point, I'm gonna be like, bro, like. Well, can you do this for me? Like, just give me a hand. Nah, bro, I can't. Or it's like, bro, like I'm giving you a hundred percent. Yeah. How are you giving me nothing? And this is like, well, my mama told me, tell me who you're with, and I'll tell you who you are, for sure. And and it's crazy, bro, because even my dad, my dad would like preach to me, bro. Like, there's no friends. Like, and la verdad, no hay amigos, bro. If you think about it, there's 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 no friends. Like. Either someone is is hating on you on the low, and um, and it's just it's just crazy. My dad always told me that. I mean, it's cool to keep people around. Like, I'm not saying like you know yeah. you're not my friend. You know what See, I mean? But no, but it, being being real, how yeah. we said earlier, we know more than anything. We know of each other. We just we we haven't fucked with each other this long. Yeah, for a long time. Yeah, and how we said it off camera is like, bro, like to and we're gonna be honest. There were and we we're honest even out of this for people that want to know. Then you gotta keep wondering keep wondering but uh you have to be real with those type of people if yeah. you're gonna if you're gonna honestly have a real conversation you gotta yeah. be real yeah, yeah, yeah and i'm not saying everything has to be put on but you need to be real you gotta be honest honest with them honest with yourself because those relationships if they're f- stay if they start on a f- on a fake note they will just never be real yeah and i feel like the only people that are gonna have your back in reality reality bro is just like they say your parents you're, you're, yeah, you're. I would say just your close, your mom, your dad, your sister, and well now my girlfriend, right? Yeah. Well, she has my back hundred percent. So like, those are the people like you have to look out for. Like those are the people that actually want the best for you. They want Ma- maybe even them. even even even. I mean, maybe for you, right? Like maybe your dad. I don't know what he thinks about this. You know, yeah. maybe he's not um, up for it. Like he doesn't. Oh, pues, ¿pa qué estás haciendo eso? Mejor yeah. trabajar. They don't have the like even like my dad. You know, like yeah. las hats. Oh, okay, yeah. No, but vente a trabajar más. Like, aquí está el, it's aquí, different. Aquí, aquí, aquí está el, aquí está el, negocio. el negocio. Like, this is going to be yours one day. Yeah, but it's not mine right now, bro. Yeah. I tell you, it's, no, it's mío right I, now. I think how I said it, I said it before. It, if they created something, that's theirs. Yeah. And I'll be a part of it and I'll help them because obviously that's our dad, that's yeah. our family. But I want, and how I said it to her, I want something one day to be like, this is mine. I yeah. created this. Now for my my now him and our future one that's coming in, I want them to have that option. How my dad to to me and to to you, mijo ahí está. Yeah. Well, bro, I, here's this. If you want this, here it is. Grandpa's there it is. You choose how I had the option. You choose what you want, and I I chose a different route because I wanted my name. And I feel like we're very blessed, bro, because per se, if this if this wasn't to pop off, hopefully it does. You always have something to fall back on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I Fuck there's yeah. there's a lot of people that don't have that. 
that cushion in the back to fall back on. So yeah. right now it's it's good that you're doing this right now because like you're lucky enough to have something just like me. I'm I, I'm I'm always gonna have a place right there, bro. Like yeah. I, it, like honestly. So it's like right now it's the time to like anything it's all in. anything you want to do, bro. If you want to if you want to per se you want to do vlogs. If you want to like sell again like all the things you're selling like it's right now it's time to do and and figure out what is it that you like to do right now that you can and go for it and if you try you don't like it yeah, well, like me like i started to um i want to start a business to clean shoes right i was like yeah well i mean i think that'd be a good business you know cleaning shoes blah, blah. so yeah i made the logo i did everything i cleaned a couple of shoes and i just thought like, ah well i don't like it <laughs> so i just stopped doing it literally bro <laughs> yeah i literally did, because you know what this has been like man i should have done it yeah. And I, like people were like, "Why are you gonna start cleaning shoes?" I'm like, "Because I just something maybe there's I was like there's money in there, you know there's yeah. money in there I see and maybe maybe I'll like it. Maybe it's just it's just a venture, but uh, I'm gonna hit you with this. F- so what would you tell a young entrepreneur in their first year of business? What would you be your advice to them? Even if they're our age or younger or older, being their first year, yeah. first well, time. Well, I mean, I'm not some like a big business person. Like but I have a multi, 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 my, but I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, you know, my two cents, right? Yeah. Um, I feel like doing something like you have to do something that you love, that you enjoy doing. Like if you enjoy doing something like and you love it, you're going to be good at it. Uh, it's going to come normal to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, hit social media hard, bro. It's all about right now social media. Social media is, is um, it's crazy. And they can follow you on TikTok. Yeah, and then, dude, I'm right now. The reason why I got to 10k, bro, honestly, was TikTok. TikTok right now for me is, I feel honestly like me, Instagram is dead. Like Instagram is like it's. Yeah. If you if. It's it's dead, bro. It's TikTok is a new monster, no, bro. T- TikTok, bro, you gotta hop on. I mean, I don't know if you're on TikTok, you gotta hop on that yeah. ASAP, bro. Like right now, it's. It's 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 crazy. Like right now, all my hats that I've been selling, bro, is all because of TikTok. It's not even IG. All those followers I got, or you think because of the shout outs, even though um shout outs to all the people that shouted me out. Yeah. I wanna say out of all the people that shouted me out, bro, probably like two, three people follow me. Honestly. TikTok, I posted up a video of the hats, got eighty thousand views. Right now it has eighty thousand views. It got me it got me three hundred followers in less than two days on my Instagram. It's because your your photo shoots have been pretty yeah, bro. Pretty sick, my boy. You yeah, 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 yeah. And it's it's and it, I mean, I didn't post up the photo shoot. I posted up like an outfit. Like I have yeah. a an outfit, and right. people people are like, what's up with the with the what's up? <laughs> These are <laughs> guest star right here. It. Yeah, guest star. You gonna guest sit star. down? It's, we're just talking about it. He's seen all the videos, and we got him. But TikTok. Yeah, bro. If 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 you're if if you ain't on TikTok right now, bro, I don't know what the hell is that you're doing. Like honestly, like, and I'm talking not person. I'm just saying, like, to any brand out there or anything like that. Yeah. If you're not on TikTok, and it, and honestly, if if they don't believe it, they really gotta go see your numbers. And I, and I've clicked on the views. I'm like, damn, this one has this many. This one has this many. I'm like, yeah, because I started making just regular videos, bro, just about my car and stuff. And one of one of the one of the videos got it got like two million views. One of my videos on it, so yeah. it got me like. It got me a pretty good, you know, following. I had like what twenty k. Yeah. So, um, so recently I started posting up the hats, and bro, it, you took advantage. Of I the took advantage. I was like, I was listening. I lost. I, like I was telling you, I watched a lot of Gary Vee. Yeah. A lot of business, bro. I, I I'm doing. I'm making food, and I have my AirPod on, and I'm just listening, listening, just feeding my brain, bro. Feeding my brain, like how to do it, how to do it, do this, do that. Like if you listen to Gary Vee, bro, he literally tells you. Like how to do it, and it's like I, it's working, it's working, and he says hit, hit, hit TikTok, post up a gang of stuff. Don't worry about the likes, don't worry about the views. Just keep going. Just keep going. Like you know, the if you post up one, imagine you post up one video a week, and you post up, and it doesn't go viral. If you post up ten to fifteen videos, one of them has a better Sound. chance, yeah, better chance to go to viral. Go. You know, it just you just need that one video, bro. Yeah. So right now I'm very lucky that right now on TikTok, bro, it's just just right right now I'm very happy right now because you know like all my hats are sold out. You know, I hit 10k on Instagram. My TikTok right now is booming right now because of the hats and like I said, bro, if you're not if you're not on TikTok, man, I don't know what you're doing. Like Instagram Instagram is, is Instagram is dying down. Like 
you know, you gotta hop on the on the current trend and and, and is, before and before because right now TikTok is um there's not there's there's supply and demand, bro. There's not a lot of supply and there's a lot of demand, dude. Yeah. So right now I feel like there's not for hats, there's not a lot of hats. But once a lot of hats start creeping in, it's gonna die down. Correct. Right? So I'm gonna say per se right now your podcast, you know, there's not a lot of and I see a lot of people that do podcasts, bro, that come up and they're just short little clips, bro. Yeah, boom. 30, 40,000. Hey, but, it, but it's uh, so when you see them on IG, yeah. you're going to see them on TikTok because they go yeah, from yeah. TikTok to there and it's like, boom. What a, and and um, if I really depend on it yeah. and for everybody that's, that's watching, if you really depend on one thing and you wait for it and you wait for it, it's never going to come. No. They continue. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm doing. That's what we're doing. And uh, it's just being patient, continue yeah, to grind, patient. yeah, bro. And, and sky's the limit. I want to ask you yeah. on a, if if you really watch them, you yeah. should know the last question: one to ten, where you at emotionally, mentally, uh, financially? Ten being you're the best, okay. one being you're gonna quit, you can't do it no more, you need help. Where's Dandy? Where's Leo? Right Sandra now, sitting right here in front of you, your yes, wife, your yes, son, sir. my girlfriend. I'm right now. At 10. Right now, I'm at 10, bro. Right now, it's this moment. Now, overall, I want to say like a 7. I'm, I, I still got to grow. I'm, I'm still trying to be positive. I'm still trying to... to, to I got to start a lot of stuff to work on myself still. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I, I, I'm going, bro. I'm going. And I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to work. I'm just going to keep on working. Till the, the wheels fall off. God. Till the, the wheels, fall, wheels off. fall off, my boy. Hell yeah. Again... And before before we even started it, we said it and I said it. Like, there's a lot of people, and there's because of social media, there's a lot of people that always say say things, yeah. and people believe it. But f- you really got to get to know a person to really understand who they are. No, nah, like I to said, really, I'm a, I'm a cool I'm a I'm a cool person, bro. Like, I'm I, I'm funny. I'm I, I'm not maybe on Instagram. I may look like i'm an asshole or, or something you know even my girlfriend said when she met me like i didn't know you like i thought you were something else you know but yeah i mean i'm cool i'm a cool dude just get to know me <laughs> my boy all right gracias thank you bro for a having toast me. bro stay tuned like share subscribe follow dandy stay tuned for the new drops because we'll be back they, they we'll be back hot hell yeah let's do it Ooh.